all right back with another tutorial i am going to be putting out different content so it won't strictly just be after effects and anime it'll be it'll be more of a variety of like premiere pro after effects and just other things uh just because i don't want to be stuck with just one thing and it's just hard to grow off of and also just you kind of just run out of ideas at some point i think this channel will go into more of like a tutorial and uh a review a review slash like tutorial um just with some of the things i have i can make a lot of reviews and tutorials with so yeah that's what this channel i think will grow into so if you see change i will still make a lot of after effects tutorials and they still apply to a lot of things so even this can apply to anything anime whatever i am trying to make different content a variety of content on this channel we'll see how that goes hopefully it goes well if it doesn't i, I have faith i have faith i'll just say that i, I believe for this tutorial we're going to be doing an auto track uh with text so basically just making the text like 3d into the real world so first what we're gonna do is click on the layer where you want the text to be applied to so click on this and you could come over to tracker um, if you don't have tracker you just come up to window go all the way to the bottom and hit tracker or you can just go to effects and presets and go to camera tracker 3d camera tracker and just apply it to the layer and you can see it's analyzing the background as you give it some time if you have a laptop it will be a little bit slower if you have a pc with a graphics card in it then it should go by a little bit faster just depending on how many frames is in it so this is a 30 frame clip run at 1080 so this shouldn't take as long as you can see it says 50 seconds and it is 451 frames so if you have a clip that's longer or has more like a higher frame rate like 60 it will take a lot longer so just keep that in mind and another thing if your if your composition settings are at 30 at 30 frames or say they're different say they're at 24 frames and your clip is at 30 frames um like a clip i have here this is at 29 frames not 30. so if you go to analyze this um video it will tell you that the composition and the clip itself is not matched with frame rate so it won't track you won't have this track point so what you would have to do is pre-compose this clip um you can right click and hit pre-compose and it'll just turn into a brown layer just a tip if that does happen from here you can see it is finally finished if you don't see the points you just click on the effect up here on the effect controls and you can see we have all these points now um and if they're if they're a little bit small and you can't really see them you can come up to, over here to track point size and just drag this up drag it around 200 percent i feel like that's a perfect ratio um just because you can actually see all the points now so we'll just come up over here and once you know once you start dragging the clip more more points will start to show up because uh, it's changing so right here i kind of want mine fairly flat onto the ground so we'll click this and you can see it clicks on the three closest points nearest to each other so if we already click off and go over here these are the three closest to these two. So we'll click on this, right click and create text and camera. And you can see we have the text over here. And if you just go by, you can see the text. If we want to change that. Just double click on the layer. And I'm just going to type DGI because that is the drone I used. So I just type DGI and you can click on the layer once again. This should bring up a rotation axis for the 3D layer. So you can see right here, it's turned to 3D and you just kind of want to move it. So we'll just drag this over here. I want to line it up with like the grass, this grass area. So and then the X axis i'll move up and if it's too big like if it's just too big and it's out of frame you can come over here on the layer and just scale it down or you can even just you know bring down the text size but it just depends really i use scale and i'll use i'll change the font size around uh so it just depends on the clip really i think around two is fine so here we have it perfectly lined up and technically you're done you know you have this and you're technically already done but to make this a little bit more realistic uh, we want to add a shadow to it so come over to the text layer and hit Control d to duplicate it and then you want to you want to come over here on the x axis and just drag this down where it's flat about 90 degrees or so a little bit up and then just drag this a little bit forward because sometimes the shadow will go onto the actual top layer with this you want to add drop shadow so just add drop shadow and you want to come over to shadow only turn this on and you can see you're technically already done the other shadow but what I like to do is turn up the softness so that way you get a more realistic looking shadow and you can see it does a, it does a pretty good job so if we turn this down to six percent to i would say ten percent would be your sweet spot there's something like this and you can also turn up the opacity say if it's a brighter day we turn it up to like eh, maybe 100 or maybe like 85 for like a brighter day um today was a little bit gloomy so we're just going to turn this down quite a bit maybe maybe like 65 you can see it was a little bit gloomy but no it does a pretty good job and if you want the text to float you'll just drag this up um you could try to 
match it maybe like say over here or something so you could do something like that <laughs> so it looks a little bit more realistic rather than just having rather than just having a floating text it does look pretty good honestly so if you want it up in the sky you just drag it up and if you want it on the ground you just try to make it with as even as possible with the ground let's see make this tracking text effect uh with after effects and again you could just turn on the shadow if you want so you could use this in your vlogs any of your videos you can apply this with uh, gaming montages it's just the same it, everything applies everything is the same you just think of it as just a regular video it doesn't matter there's no limits basically with after effects no limits you have everything at your hands and you just create something with it and if you don't have after effects i will leave a link in the description where you can go get that again the, the content on this channel will be shifting towards more of a tutorial and review I, style i don't even know how i'd explain it but you'll see what i mean like i have a few new dji products that i have and i kind of want to review because i haven't messed with them that much and i'm getting ready for japan as well so i just want to test everything and see how everything works before i go out in japan and vlog it so yeah i don't know how, how long this video will be probably less than 10 minutes but yeah hope you have a nice day see you in the next one